Smart. Pustay! In Mariano, in the Kursk region, a North Korean general was injured in an attack by Ukrainian military forces. Several other North Korean DPRK army officers were destroyed. This was reported by RBC Ukraine with reference to the Financial Times. The attack on Mariano was one of the attacks by the Ukrainian army GoPro aimed at North Koreans in the Kursk region over the past week. In addition, Ukrainian troops are looking for a place to deploy Korean soldiers, as Russia has disbanded them. According to the Financial Times, the identity of the North Korean general has not been revealed. However, previously it was known that North Korea had sent Colonel General Kim Jong-bok to control the Storm Corps Special Forces Unit. It is impossible to say for sure that he was injured at Mariano. Last month, information emerged that North Korea had sent its military to the Russian Federation. The North Korean army was supposed to help the Russian military in the war against Ukraine. <laughs> A few days ago, Zelensky announced that the number of North Korean military personnel on Russian territory had reached 11,000 people, and this figure could increase to 100,000 people. And on November 20, Bloomberg wrote that the Ukrainian military fired storm shadow missiles at Russia for the first time. The network stated that there had been an attack in the village of Mariano, Kursk region. National Guard soldiers stop an attempted Russian attack on Zaporizhia. Russian troops attack with a group of infantry. Therefore, the invaders tried to advance with a group of infantry to the National Guard positions, but their actions were detected in advance by Spartan air reconnaissance. In the Zaporizhia direction, the Russians mainly tried to carry out attacks and reconnaissance with infantry groups of 3 to 10 people, depending on the gathering capabilities of personnel and terrain area, Pivnenko said. According to him, Russia rarely uses equipment, but the Ukrainian military destroys enemy personnel and fires weapons quickly and accurately. Over the past day, 224 battles took place on the front lines. The largest number of clashes was recorded in the Pokrovsky direction. In late September, it was reported that Russian troops were preparing to intensify offensive operations in the direction of Zaporizhia. Specifically, they gathered personnel and vehicles. At the same time, the Russian military did not have the strength to attack Zaporizhia. The enemy is preparing offensive operations near several settlements in the region.
Hang on. Hang on, one that. Where's the other? Выстрел! Выстрел!